Welcome to another LMI demo video showing how to set up and use the Surface Stitch Tool. The Surface Stitch Tool is used to combine data from two or more scans, applying a transformation to each scan to account for different scan positions or angles. Our setup here includes a single Gokator 2530 mounted on a UR5E collaborative robot. And we'll be scanning a large metal bracket. I'll show you how to use a Surface Stitch Tool to scan the ends of the bracket and combine that data into one overall height map which allows you to make accurate length measurements of the bracket without having to scan the portion in the middle. So here's the simple UR program that we're running. We use the Gokator Connect and Gokator Scan functions available through LMI's UR cap. And we're performing two scans from two different points set exactly 500 millimeters apart. Our first scan starts at point one, the current robot location. And the second scan starts at point two, which is just point one offset by 0.5 meters. All right, let's go ahead and run our robot and take those scans. Here in our browser interface, you'll see the two different scans on the left and right ends of our bracket. So now let's use our surface stitch tool to combine these into a single height map. We'll go into replay mode so we can toggle back and forth between these scans without having to reacquire them. Surface Stitch is added by selecting it from our long list of tools and clicking Add. Surface Stitch can be used to combine up to 24 different surfaces. Here, we'll just select two. We'll also uncheck Enforce Frame Order because we'll either be working off of a recording or we'll be using the robot to start and stop the sensor. The key settings for this tool are your surface parameters which define how your multiple surfaces, in our case only two, should be combined. We're going to leave our first surface at the origin, but define our second surface as having a 500 millimeter offset in the X direction. Remember, this is the offset we programmed in the UR robot for the start of our second scan. Now we can reset our buffers and index through the two images in order and take a look at our stitched surface. And here it is. Now we're ready to add some measurement and inspection tools. First, we're going to want to lock these frames. So we'll select under operation, we'll select lock. And this means as we're making changes to subsequent tools, our stitched image isn't going to change. We'll unlock it later when we're going to take more scans. So let's first add a bounding box tool. We'll add this from our tool list and make sure we select our stitched surface as the stream and then tune some of these parameters so that we define our region to cover only where the bracket is located and not the table that it's sitting on so here we'll change our z value so it doesn't include our table and you can see the bounding box snaps to the metal bracket reporting its center of mass, and also what we really care about, the overall length. And we can verify this length. It's about 157 millimeters. We can verify it with a tape measure, and it's pretty darn close. Next, let's measure the hole-to-hole -hole distance. We'll do this by adding a surface hole tool to look for a hole on the left side. This is going to be a about a four millimeter radius hole. So we'll set that in our parameters. Let's call this tool surface hole left. We'll call the other tool surface hole right. You'll see if it's con configured correctly, we find the hole. You can make sure we don't include data on the table, just the bracket. Here's a copy of our first hole tool. We'll move this over, find a hole on the right side. Now we can use a feature dimension tool. Again, referring to our stitched surface, we can use this tool to measure the distance between the center of the left hole and the center of the right hole. And there's that distance, about 527 millimeters. 
we're ready to take some more actual scans with our robot. But before we do that, we'll take this out of replay mode and unlock our surface stitch tool. So now as we take new scans, they'll get stitched together correctly. You'll notice the results are invalid and there's no data while you're taking your first scan. It's only after that second scan completes that surface stitch tool is able to combine both surfaces and run the subsequent tools to do our measurements. Let's move our bar and take some more scans. Here we've got the bar at an angle, but that distance measurement is still about 527 millimeters. We'll take one more scan at a different angle and expect that distance measurement to come in yeah, right around 527 millimeters. So that's pretty much it for the surface stitch tool. We used a pretty basic example here with just two surfaces and the second surface only offset in one direction. But this tool can get pretty complicated with many surfaces being combined, each taken for a different position and angle. Uh, for example, scanning all around an engine block and combining those separate scans into one large point cloud. The surface stitch tool is available on both the laser line profilers and our snapshot sensors. For any questions about features not covered in this video or more information in general, please see our user manual or visit our website at lmi3d.com. Thanks for watching.